Hello, Blam Fam. Welcome to another video. First things first, whoever decided it was a good idea for me to manage my own YouTube channel, thanks. I can't even upload on time. But that's okay because I have changed my uploading schedule. So I'm going to be uploading a new video every Sunday and every Thursday instead of every Saturday and every Wednesday. I think it should work better for me that way just with how my life is. Today's video has been a highly requested video from a lot of my friends and family and everything. It's basically just an everyday makeup routine. You know how I do like my famous wing and lashes and stuff. So if that's something you're interested in watching how I do my everyday makeup, then keep on rolling. Okay, so I have already done my eyebrows. I figured I'd save you guys a lot of time here. It takes a really long time for me to do my brows and even then they're not perfect like at all. So if you guys want to see a brow tutorial, let me know in the comments below and I can make that happen for you. But until then, I just did them off camera for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my entire face first, starting with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And I just take a brush that kind of, this brush is the BH Cosmetics brush, 137. Oh, the primer looks like this. And mine is in the Universal Sheer. And I just take on my brush like that and prime my face. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline foundation. This is the Superstay one in the shade 102 Fair Porcelain. This is one of my Ride or Die foundations. I'm just gonna take that. And now that we are looking like a warrior here with some crazy face paint going on. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with a brush today. I'm gonna use my Morphe M439 brush is what I use to blend with when I'm not using my beauty blender. And we're just gonna blend that out and make sure you blend to the neck as well. Now that we have done that, I usually go in with two different concealers now. I use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Beige as well as the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer in C1. And I use both of them because I find that these two colors together makes like a perfect concealer match on my face. And to blend those, I use the JS3 brush from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And I do the Jeffree Star one first. And I put it like this, just three lines right here. And I'm going to go ahead and go in and do the same exact thing with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. All right, and then after I do that, I go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Pressed Translucent Setting Powder, like this. To apply that, I just use a Morphe R2 brush. And we're gonna just set the face. Make sure you also set where you blend it down on the neck too, just so that also stays in place for you. And now we're gonna go ahead and do the famous wing that everyone knows and loves that I do. So I have started using a new eyeliner. I use the Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner. This is what the component looks like. And then, 
hopefully you guys can see that. And I've been really liking this eyeliner lately, so it might end up replacing the Sex Kitten eyeliner by Tarte that I always use. And I'm gonna try to get a little closer to you guys without knocking everything over. And I start by, I start in the inner corner and I work my way out and just make like that basic line first. And then I do the wing from there. So let's go ahead and do that on both eyes. <laughs> Now that we have the basic line shape down, this is where I do my wing. This is still to this day a complicated part for me. So I kind of start, like what I do is I make the point where I kind of want the wing to end and then I connect the bottom part and then I do the top part and fill in as I go. I know that sounds complicated. It makes sense when you'll, it'll make more sense when you guys actually see it but first, coffee break. Mm, yum. All right, so then I'm gonna go ahead and do that to this eye and then show you from there. Okay, so now I have that eye done. And so as you guys saw, like I kind of just go back and go through and try to even out the lines so it's not too thin or not too thick. And I do know that it does go kind of far out and almost touches my eyebrows. So I'm actually made a mess up and that's fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm literally going to probably make everyone cringe, but I'm gonna wipe that part off and redo it because I messed up. Just goes to show that we all make mistakes when we do makeup people. So, oh, that's great. I try to show you guys how I do this and I make a mistake, but it's okay because we all make mistakes. So now that I've kind of cleaned the tip off, I'm gonna go back and redo it and not so far out. It's a little bit better, but like, I'm one of those people, I just do dramatic wings and I always make them far out. So some people don't like it, but I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing to the other eye and I'll be right back. All right, so we are back with the other eye done and now we have our wings on. So now I'm gonna do my lower lash line eyeliner. And so I recently started doing this. This is a new part of the routine that I'm actually kind of glad I... I'm gonna keep that in just so you guys can realize like how clumsy I am that I just like throw my makeup anywhere. So anyways, as I was saying before I rudely interrupted myself, I now put white in the under waterline. It just makes my eyes seem bigger, like even though I already have big eyes, people say that I have anime eyes, which I love. So I like to just enhance that with white eyeliner and the one I use, I use the NYX Jumbo one in 604 Milk and it's just a plain white eyeliner and then I just run that in my inner waterline. Do you guys like my eyeliner face? And I feel like that just really helps make your eyes pop and look bigger if you have smaller eyes or even if you just want the appearance of larger eyes when you already have large eyes like I do. I think it really definitely helps make it look larger. And then we're gonna go in with mascara and the mascara that I've been using forever now is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. I'm only gonna do the top lashes first because then we'll be putting on falsies and then I do bottom lashes. So go ahead and just fast forward this part. Now that I have my top lashes done, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some lashes. I think I wanna use these ones right here, the 415s, the ones in the second row. Oh, look, I have a linger. I'm gonna go ahead and use the 415 ones. I really like how they flare out. I already have them trimmed to fit my eye. I'll try to show you guys what they look like, but I have nails. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. The lash glue I use is just strip adhesive with aloe from Kiss. I use a lot of aloe just because I have sensitive eyes. So we're just gonna put a thin strip of lash glue on there. 
right and you're gonna let that glue kind of just sit all right so now that the glue has been sitting on here and it's getting tacky I really like how these lashes look. It just adds extra dimension and more floop. And don't worry, it doesn't stay white, the lash glue. It does dry clear. So while that lash is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one and I'll be right back. All right, so I am back. My lashes are on, they are dry. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom lashes and then we'll put another coat of mascara on the top lashes as well to help seamlessly blend where the lashes meet. Alright, so our eyes are officially done, so now we can do the rest of the face, which is a little bit of bronzing, some blush, some highlight, and then of course the lips. So for bronzer, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer, and then I use the shade Tawny. And I'm just going to take that on a little fluffy Morphe E34 brush, and I contour slash bronze whichever on my cheekbones side of my nose and my forehead all right so now that we have some more dimension back to my little round plump face here we can go ahead and go in with some blush. For blush, I'm gonna use the Cover Effects uh, Perfector Face Palette, which I use a lot. I'm gonna go in with the blush that's in this palette. It's called Sublime. I use this blush a lot. So we're just gonna apply it right above, kind of blending it with the uh, bronzer, as you can see. And then for highlight today, I'm gonna actually go in with the 24 Karat palette by Jeffree Star. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Sarcophagus right here, as you can tell is um, very loved and well used. And I am gonna take the Jeffree Star highlighting brush, which is just the JS4. And then after I do that, I go in with a smaller brush to do the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and like the chin area. All right, now that we have that done, I'm gonna go ahead and do my setting spray and then I do the lip scrub and then I do the lipstick. So for setting spray, I use the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. And we're gonna set that in with the fan. For lip scrub, I'm just gonna go in with the Cucumber Mint Lip Scrub by Jeffree Star and I just... Again, that's not how you have to do it, it's just how I do it. Mm. I could literally eat that whole jar. I'm gonna actually go ahead and line my lips today. I'm gonna use the Kylie Jenner lip liner in the shade Kristen. I usually don't line my lips too often, but I think today I just want to. And yes, I overline my lips, no, I don't care. Oh, that's nice. Let's just, uh, can't use a mirror if you held it backwards. And then I just go in and I fill it in. All right, and then I'm going to take the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Fully Nude and go over everything I just did with the lip liner. And then I'm gonna do some setting spray one last time. All right, and that is pretty much it for my everyday makeup routine. It's really quick, it's really simple, and it's just like, I do this on days that I don't feel like doing eyeshadow look or anything. If I missed anything, or if you want like an in-depth 
explanation of something that I like fast forwarded through, please let me know. Give me some ideas for my next video. I've also decided, um, like I said, I'm gonna have a new video up on Sundays and Thursdays. So Sunday videos will be makeup or beauty related in some way, shape or form. And then Thursday videos will be vlog style or just more like a relaxed, more relaxed setting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to stay strong, stay beautiful, and love yourself always. Bye, Glam Fam.